Okay, good day everybody. Um, you could consider this maybe uh, the second part of the Gardner injection pump uh, story. I want to talk about phasing the injector pump. Now, what does this mean? Um, here we have a, a six cylinder injector pump and it's really very important that each cylinder delivers exactly the same amount of diesel, same amount of fuel. Now, under normal circumstances, um, we send the pump off and we get the pump calibrated, and that's done on a special machine that's very sophisticated, and we're not capable of doing that in-house. But sometimes we just get the pump tops done, and when that's the case, we have to phase the pump top back onto the cam box again. What this means is that <clears throat> each individual, as I said, is getting exactly the same amount of diesel at the same time. Now, I will have described in a previous video that there are scribe marks in here on the little plungers. Do you see that scribe mark going up and down? Okay. And there's also scribe marks on the actual body. So whenever we're setting up the timing of the pump, we rotate the shaft until we get, well, first of all, we have to turn the flywheel on the engine to make sure that the flywheel for that particular injector is at the right point where the injector should be firing. Whenever we've done that, whenever we've got the flywheel orientated in the right spot, we then turn this shaft here and we make sure that these lines line up. I think, that, I think that should be clear. <coughs> but as I said, um, we have to phase the pump top onto the cam box. Now, in order to do that, we have to take off the pump top and we use uh, little uh, phasing discs. I have some here. And we'll show you that in the next part of this video. Thank you so much. Is it running? Mm hmm. Okay, um, part two of the phasing video. We take the pump tops off. We put on these little um, phasing discs, which are very accurately manufactured and they're peculiar to each of the Gardner mo models. You get them for ALW, LX, uh, LXB, um, LTB and so on. Uh, we put the phasing disc on the plunger that we're interested in, having put the insertion plate on first. Okay. Spring. We then put the pump top back on again. Oh, having first of all rotated the shaft so that the plunger is at the bottom of its stroke. We then put the pump top back on again. Uh, we bolt it all up and we see do the marks coincide. If the marks coincide, we're fine. If not, then we have to take the pump back off again and we have to adjust. We have to adjust these tappets here by slackening that lock nut and screwing this set screw up maybe one turn, even half a turn until uh, we get it right. So it's a matter of adjusting, reassembling, adjusting, reassembling. It's quite a tedious process, takes some time. Uh, but we have to do that in order to get each one of the injectors firing perfectly the same. Uh, thank you very much. I hope that that was informative for you.